Hey everybody, it's Lynn Lafferty with LJL Fitness. Tuning in today to tell you about a quick gym hack that I've got planned for you. Um, hopefully this will be helpful. Um, if not, you can just throw this away. This will be a short video. The reason that I wanted to show you this gym hack is because I've got some people who want to work out at home and may not have weight gloves or anything or don't want to purchase weight gloves. I mean, these would probably run um, anywhere between eight for a cheap pair to about 30 for a really good pair. These are probably 16, $16 pair of gloves from Harbinger. Um, protect your hands from calluses, from getting rough if you don't want your hands to be rough. So you can use these. It also improves your grip too. So gloves or no gloves. The other option would be to use these from GripPads.com. These are little neoprene gloves that you just slide on and off. It's got little left and right hand directions right here. So for some of my people who still do this, lefty righty, I'm sure some of you out there still do that. It's got the left hand, right hand listed at the bottom, written on the bottom. So you know which one to go into. And it's just the first three fingers that actually slip onto these gloves, hand grips right here. So then you've got easy, accessible protection for your hands and it covers the right underneath at the base of your fingers where those calluses are most likely to develop. Keeps them nice and protected. It's also a good grip. They're neoprene, they're non-slip, um, nice and cushiony. If you would like to get these, go to grippads.com. I highly recommend them, they're really great. But, which, and they run probably between, I don't know, 14 to $30 as well, because they've upgraded these quite a few times. These are the classic and they don't really cover, let me show you. They don't go as far down as your palm, but now they've got some that do go below the palm, so I've got to upgrade my supply too. So, grip pads. But then, here's where the gym hack comes in. Now the reason for the gym hack, well, let me back up, is because when I write programs for people at home, they may not have dumbbells available to hang on to, or barbells, or anything like that, that I've got them here in this little home gym of mine, garage gym. So what they, we just use is items around the house. Now for legs, it's easy. You've got stairs, you've got couches and beds to sit down on, chairs to sit down and step up on. But with upper body, we need to find something and be creative with using products around the house. And the most easy and readily available products would be canned goods. About, at about a pound each, you just stick them, stick them in a sack and then that's when you start to curl, press, row, whatever you can do with them. So we're going to say that I'm writing a program for my client at home and she wants to do use some of her canned goods for her resistance. Well, then we just get grocery store sacks. Thank you, HB, favorite grocery store. I would recommend double bagging them so it's two ply. But you know, when you carry groceries from your car inside, if you use one of these, when you've got a boatload of canned goods, on just this little bitty plastic part, it tends to dig into your hands or to your arms or whatever. So doing weights with these with any considerable amount of weight, it's really gonna dig into your hands. So the hack is going to be how to recreate gloves or grip pads for a little home grocery bag weight or resistance product. So we're gonna, we're gonna put my cans in here first. Double bag. I'm gonna put three cans in. It'll be about three pounds. Now, it's still gonna be bulky. The uh, instability of it is another good attribute to play with. And then here's my product right here. Here's my resistance. I got curls, three pound curls. For most people, that's gonna be just fine. You got overhead press. Just make sure you don't wonk yourself in the head. You know, you can do lateral raises with a weight this light. Front raises with a weight this light. All kinds of good stuff. But after a while, this little stringy plastic digs into your hands. Again, here comes the gym hack. So what else could you use around your house to make homemade gloves with? Now, I'm gonna bet a million dollars if you've got it and you wanna bet me on it, that you probably have a stack of something that's neoprene based, non-slip, nice and cushiony that we could use for your hands and you wouldn't have a problem giving up just one. It's the koozie. If you've got a stash like me, I think you can afford to get rid of one koozie. I've got all kinds from, uh, from colleges, from parties, birthday parties, kids' birthday parties, uh, insurance events. 
everything in between. Uh, we have quite a few of these. I'm willing to give it up because what we're going to do is cut it and make our own hand grips. Casino night. Now most all koozies have the stitching on the sides here. If you can see that right here. And that's the cut we're going to make. We're going to make it right on that seam so we don't cut any of the neoprene. All we're doing is cutting the threads on both sides. So I've already done that with this one. So pretend that it's whole. You take your scissors, cut that seam right on the side, cut through all those threads, go to the other side, cut that seam, and then you'll have it stuck in the middle, which is the bottom part where the can would be. And then you cut a straight line in between there. Let me flip it to the black side so you can see. This is where it was connected at the bottom for the can. Cut it in half. So now we can use one for each hand. All you need is one koozie. One, and then it separates into halves and it's one for each hand. Next step is you can use it like this all day long if you want to. For my dumbbell, I just protect my hand with it and hold it here. Or to kind of lock it into place, you cut a little slit right here. You see that slit? Just a quick little cut, like using your scissors. Doesn't really matter where. Although if you're gonna use them for dumbbells, you might have to use a little bit higher up. Cut a little slit about the width of where it joins right here so that when you tuck it in, remember how you fold those tabs for, uh, can't think of what you fold the tabs for, tuck it into that slot that you just cut and then there's your locking mechanism. See how it pulled through right here? Yeah, and then that's where the handle is going to be for the back. And then here's my grip. Nice rolled up handle. What that looks like on the bag is here. Right here. Let me flip it upside down so you can see. We'll have the nice black part showing. Here's my handle. Tuck in the tabs. Make sure it locked into place. There you go. So now, no more plastic dealing with your hands. Curls. Press. Just watch your head. Lateral raise. Anterior brakes, tricep extension. Ooh, cans may get wonky in the head. That's the hack tip. Okay, so I'll cut this one to be a little bit longer for this right here. In fact, it wouldn't take much. It would be just be a little bit high. Make a quick little snip. There. Tuck it in. Homemade handles. See that? Homemade grips. You don't even have to put them on your hands. Here we go. Curls. Lateral raise. Wrist press. That's today's gym hack. Good old fashioned hand grip made from a koozie. Two out of one. Be blessed.